Hey guys, it's Leverdo one here, and today we are going to be exploring. So there's some, before I start talking about what we're going to be doing, first you probably can see right here, but second, um, actually first, but um, the main reason of what I'm doing is, um, in a astronomy magazine I read recently, I heard that there is an Earth approximately an Earth-sized planet around Proxima Centauri, which is the closest star to the Sun. I didn't put the Sun in the simulation because I didn't feel like it, but... So, here is roughly w what the system might look like. Um, Proxima Centauri B is the one planet that is practically confirmed. Wait, yep, okay. My recording thingy went kind of weirdo for a second. So, this is what there is this and then I also created what my another planet because I read that there's evidence for a second planet but not enough to truly confirm it so I just for the sake of being interesting I added this which I should call Proxima Centauri C Proxima Centauri C there we go this is the system system of classifying exoplanets in a system. Honestly, I think this is kind of boring. I mean, even Universe Sandbox's names for the planets are more interesting. But my what I was thinking is if this was if this planet actually exists, which it probably does, what might it be like? So, I pulled up the simulation and I decided well maybe my viewers would not be interested in this too so I started making this and so it will in order to survive the the close radiation from its star it will need to be a lot it will need to have a large magnetic field so that is important so I will I'm going to put magnetic field in the simulation of maybe 0 0.4 Gauss there we go yeah that seems about right to me and it will I'm thinking it might have a moon it might not but just for the sake of interest I'm going to give it a moon there we go Here's its little moon. Wonder if they have a way of naming moons too. I'm gonna call this Proxima Centauri Centauri. My bad. Centauri BB. Okay, there we go. So yeah, there we go. Now Proxima Centauri B needs an atmosphere. Let's see. See, atmospheric mass would be surface pressure, atmospheres. No, that might be a little too much. Two atmospheres. There we go. So now it has an atmosphere. I don't know why it's glowing blue. I mean, atmospheres don't always do that unless they have a large amount of oxygen in them. So that doesn't make sense me. Besides, the light from a red dwarf is, well, red, so... There we go. And actually, red... Whoops. No! Temper... Let's change the temperature. Let's put it at 20 degrees. There we go. So... There are some complications for life forming on this planet because I might have mentioned a couple of the these complications in my Red Dwarf Solar System video. You can check that out. I think it was pretty cool. A lot of my viewers liked it, so... Let's see, what else do we need to mention? Um... Yeah, complications. The complications are likely something along the lines of solar radiation due to its 
closeness to or proximity for comedian's sake to its star so that is important to mention also the beginning of a red dwarf's life is kind of chaotic so there'll be a lot more solar flares and stuff at least that's according to some of the articles I read and it could strip away the atmosphere also because the planet is most likely tidally locked due to its proximity haha -ha, to the star it will likely be tightly locked and a magnetic field as scientists currently think depends on the motion of a on the rotation of the planet to keep the core moving which generates the field so that might be a problem as well with no magnetic field the the planet may not have an atmosphere but one theory is that these planets form out far enough outside far enough that they don't get destroyed by the that their atmospheres that they that what but, 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 but that their magnetic field does not get dis destroyed by the tidally locked thing and also the magnetic field will survive for a couple billion years after it um by the way i this i believe i read in the magazine astronomy astronomy or sky and telescope or something but yeah so so this is what might it might look like and as i mentioned in the red dwarf solar system if there were life it would look probably a lot it would look very like dark because the light coming from the star would be more on the infrared spectrum so that is one problem so I'm thinking it also is a possibility that first off I don't think this planet will be pointing this is this planet tried to pull a Uranus there you go that seems like a more likely tilt let's add a ring for it I always add a ring for it, even though that doesn't always work out. Hmm. Geosynchronous ring, that would be cool. Let's make the color red. From manual, there we go. Ring, yeah, there we go. Uh. There we go. Height, shape, ring. There we go. City fill, spacing, random, plane alignment, body. All right, there we go. Motion, auto orbit. I'm not seeing. Oh, oh. It's kind of far. Hmm. That is kind of that's kind of far. Honestly, I think it would be cool if Proxima St Centauri had like a massive. Uh, let's add. Uh, let's have a ring. Let's see. Material. The material would be silicate or maybe iron. Oh, silicate. Color mode, manual. Let's make the color of it. Maybe, uh, yeah, like that. Ring texture. And. Number of particles. Inner radius. AU maybe f radius zero point three AU outer radius um zero point 
five AU, I guess. Here we go. Okay, there we go. This is the ring system of it. Alright, maybe I didn't do this quite right. That doesn't really look like a ring I'd see, but maybe if we view orbits, labels, How much does this weigh? Weighs one moon? Huh. Alright, I might have screwed up the simulation, but oh well. Hey, it'd be cool if we could find the planet from here. What if we watched for a transit? zone you're distracting me let's watch for a transit because I think that would be pretty cool oh I saw something transit so now the one problem with Proxima Centauri is that it's not aligned with its plane is not aligned with ours, so we can't exactly see transits, but if we could, this might be what we'd see. Also, I think maybe if the planet moved behind the star, we might be able to see it. Or not. That's... is that the planet, or where is it? Silence. Okay, but maybe if we just wait. Hmm. What is that? Is that the ring system? Yeah, that's our very odd ring system. There's one of the moons in it. I'm not seeing the planet up by thigh side for a sec. Well, maybe we should slow the simulation down. Is that the planet? I think not. Hmm. I don't seem to be seeing it. Is that the planet? Oh, I saw something first. Get up, saw it. Oh, there's our transit. Slow that down. Hmm. It's probably getting really boring, but I just want to see a transit, so. Let's see, there is the our target. Unfortunately is lost in the glare of the star. So let's see. Just waiting for is that is that part of it or no? Whoa, that looks cool. Proxima Centauri shoots fire out of it. <laughs> It looks really cool, but that it would never happen. Alright, I can't see anything orbits. Oh, but that's because I'm looking too far in. There we go. Now we're at a position where we can see it. I think. 
orbits. Hmm. It appears that I don't think that Proxima Centauri B can keep its moon. Also, the planet is probably going to be tidally locked, as I pointed out. Which means that this side will forever be in darkness. Oops, what? Something happened. There we go. There we go. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video of what Proxima Centauri B might look like. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. And Levered01 is signing out.